one thing that uh, we rarely hear, that you practice also service for the doubles. Okay, you were also a very good double player, but this is also not so common, no? I, I think you don't see it really. What, what were the specific, let's say, of this service? With the backhand service, it's not so big difference. Just it, that you are practicing the place where you put the service and you are thinking what is good for my, my partner, when I, where I put the ball, where I should make the service. <coughs> With the forehand, it's because normally you are standing next to the table, you have much place. I'm talking about, now about the right-handed. Yeah. And if you go for make a double service, you're standing behind the table. So this is again something that you are seeing and you are learning how the ball must uh, tipping in your side and how will come there, which spin I can make that the ball turning on the right way and not going to the uh, where, where you are fault. This is again something what is good for your double and it's also good for your feeling to know how the ball is tipping and and how this is again receiving and and just to play over the table how you can touch the ball how much you learn yourself in serve how much from your coach <clears throat> i must tell that i was learning from myself my father was playing with barna Rocket. So, yeah. So he has absolutely no idea about spin or about <laughs> top spin. But uh, he was a very good help me because he was all the time with me in the hall and he was collecting my ball or catching the ball. And then when I made a good service and the ball was turning, he told me, "Oh, this was very good. Try to make this one again." And then I knew, okay, how I should make. And also if it was on the floor and it was turning after 10 minutes still, then it told, okay, come and try now that it's turning 11 minutes. Like this, with this work, I find all the time out what is good. To receive feedback is very important. Yeah, it yeah. Was, yeah, so he didn't say me how you make the movement. He just told what was good and tried to make it somehow better and that's why I had to make many many things individual. Mm -hmm. How long would it take you to go through 25 balls? How long would you spend on each serve? Yeah, with this high toss, uh, altogether it was between half an hour and one hour. It depends if it was running good. Optimal is to practice every day, but I know it's, it's, it's not possible, but three times a week it would be a very good start. If your player already making three times a week, then rise for four, five times a week. Without receive, it's very important the, that, that uh, <coughs> to see and, and that he is learning if he wants short, if he can make short, or the long one, where the long one is, is uh, tipping on the other side. So, this is what I see a mistake from the coaches a little bit, that they don't push the player to make a loan because, as I told, it's boring and the coach uh, men, uh, see this, that the player is, has no fun and don't want and then trying, try to make it okay, we make it service receive. But it's not the same. First, they must learn how to make the service and after, the next step is service receive. At the beginning, in this time, this crucial time, it's more important to service alone. And after, to go next step, service receive. Yes, very important. Yes, yes. Yeah, you must go back 
and then turn with the hips also very fast that's why you need so much practice because you, you must put everything together the racket the ball the touch and also the body and it must be everything they must synchronize and this must be everything perfect so a service is a ritual you can see more ritual with the player who make the high toss service like tommy like me like one the German player. It's an unbelievable nice service. How she threw the balls and everything shooting together. Because with this high toss, you must learn it. Otherwise, with air condition, you have no chance to touch the ball. That's why it's, I think, not so bad to teach the player a little bit through the ball higher afterward. It's much easier also the other service. Because now sometimes it's too, too short everything. The touch is too fast when they make the service and the, in the ball is nothing. So the service is not fast enough, not long enough, not spinny enough. It's just the ball is going on the other side and okay, we start to play. When you throw the ball so high, it's a problem. There is quite a zone where you touch the ball. That's why you practice. That That's it, why you it practice. must. It's really quite. Uh, much more stretchable than when you throw the ball like this. It's yes, a yes. So, can you define like the height, the ratio height and the area that you have to cover? Like at the beginning, you need to move to to adjust when you throw the ball, or of course or? there are. I think Zita can tell the Hungarian was all the time in the Hungarian competition at the beginning. I was through the ball sometimes in the other box and then I was running <laughs> and trying to manage on the table. So it's really uh, very precision. Precision, it's yeah. precision. And table tennis is precision. This is what the young players sometimes don't understand. If I must play on the edge, then I must play on the edge. And everybody needs in why the Chinese are so good. If you are told to put in this point the ball, they put there. And this is when you, you can play table tennis. That you put the ball really with top spin, with smash, with uh, cut, and did, and the service is nothing else. This precision. We must also say that uh, on the practice we should practice the service with more risk. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in the tennis, the first service they can risk. It doesn't matter. They have a second chance. And then for table tennis, then on the match is our second service. So it will be never so fast like on the practice. But it must be still so good that it's, it's uh, good for, for me. That's why I must practice and that's why I must make more uh, risk on the, on the practice because if I really good make on the practice, it will be never the same on the match because it's a little bit shaking. It's uh, very difficult. I don't say this, but uh, the coaches must take care very much about the players that what to do and how long, how much push the player. And when we start to practice the first ball after the service, which service they are making so good that they can make every time 10 all and this service is coming 100%. At the beginning, you said that when your service was getting better, you also had, because more backspin, for example, the cut, uh, also the ball that was coming back to you had more backspin. And you said you had more, more problems, let's say, with your first top spin. Uh, you think it's worth insisting be because a good service is such a great advantage? You think it's, uh, how to say, a worth investment? A good service. Yes, I think yes. yes. But okay, this was my career and for me it was functioning. Mm -hmm. But I would say if you can learn one service with so much pain, it means you have very good feeling mm -hmm. and you will learn the next one. This is then not so difficult when you reach this level mm -hmm. to make such a good spin. And then it will be all the time your advantage because the other ones cannot make so much.
the club where I learn table tennis, this head this high. So if I go today in this hole, I threw the ball, it's exactly in, in the <laughs> roof and then it's coming. So I think it, we would have a higher hole, then it would be higher, my toes. So it's very uh, interesting because this was really... I started to throw the ball. At the beginning was it maybe half, but then how I got uh, confidence, I threw all the time higher and then there was the roof. I had to stop throwing <laughs> higher. <laughs> It's, uh, I think, important to move the opponent, that it doesn't know, okay, maybe 50-50 is too much, uh, 60 short, 40 long, something. Boys, girls, same? No, no, uh, girls more long, boys less long. Why are girls less uh, enthusiastic about spin game? Sir? Spin, forehead spin, backhead spin. Why are they inclined to play on speed and less on spin? I don't know. Girls like just this. <laughs> they want <laughs> to play fast. <laughs> I, or maybe no power, yes. Uh, they, don't, they don't like to move, I think, so much. That's why they stuck on the table more. And then they try to play fast, I think. But uh, What uh, would be your suggestion to young players? It should be on the beginning of the practice, on the end of the practice, when they're a little bit more tired, or completely one session with, with the service, what you... No, I would, I would make every day 15-20 minutes and I would changing. Beginning, middle, and just that this boring, that it's a, at least this is changing a little bit. For me, it's important that they make every day. One more question there. Before you were saying serving every day for 15, 20, 30 minutes, out of a percentage, how much is that each day if you're training? Is that two hours per day with 20 minutes of serving, or is that six hours a day with 20 minutes of serving? What percentage would you have to yeah, this is a good question, but because we are, s or I think the player are so much behind with the service, I would say it doesn't matter, important is the service. To make 15 minutes also if it's just one hour practice. But I know, like a coach, it's it's difficult to de decide for this if if there are just one hour, that then I, I push my players to make 15 minutes services. But that they learn this process, this I would I would try to make them pushing every day service. It doesn't matter how long is the session. Without ten ten or before was I would complain to train you prefer to serve with uh, height uh, or maybe shorter or how to your preference on this uh, point? Yeah it was yeah it was depends on opponent because the uh, up spin service I couldn't make so good or short, absolutely not, with the high toss. I could make up just long if I made the high toss because it was too much speed on the ball. I couldn't control so much. Just with cut or, or nothing inside or side spin, I could make. And that's why I was often making the up spin, up spin service. That's why not the high toss, but uh, when the opponent... I saw that he has big problem with the cut service, with the backspin, then I made the high toss, so it was doesn't matter. How many years he was practicing for this? Uh, it, all the time, all the time, all my career. I, I, I needed my service. This was a practice session for me. If I went to practice, I made my service. This was including. I, I didn't feel good if I didn't make. My, my service. So for about 35 years, huh? Yeah, that's why I told at the beginning, it seems I made all my life yes. <laughs> just servicing, but, but it was not. Chila, thank you really very much. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting.